When Sandy Vassell lost her 88-year-old mom, Mary, on Sunday, she took comfort knowing her parents would finally be together again. They were that couple. Sandy's dad, Charles, died 11 years ago. Years earlier, though, her parents made plans to be buried here at Lincoln Memory Gardens in Whitestown. They picked out those plots years ago, um, and they knew that they were going to be together when they, when they passed. And that's what Vassal was expecting this week after her mom's funeral. At the end of the funeral, um, the, the personnel at the funeral home said that they had received a phone call from the cemetery and there was a technical glitch. And that's the term they used. That glitch turned out to be a missing casket. That's what the cemetery found when they opened up Vassal's dad's grave so they could bury his wife on top. My dad is buried somewhere out there, but don't know where. When they told me that they didn't know where my dad was, it was like he died all over again. Stonemore Partners, the company that owns the cemetery, has apologized to Vassal and her family. They say they've launched an internal investigation, but point out the mistake happened four years before they bought the cemetery and took over operations. I know mistakes get made. But when you're talking about the remains of a loved one, you know, I think you need to be vigilant on putting them where they belong. Vassal says when her dad died, the ground was so muddy they didn't have a graveside service, but they could see the area dug up where he was going to go. You're grief stricken. You're, you're putting your loved one in the ground. You don't think or, to make sure that it's the right hole. So for now, Vassal's mom waits to be in her final resting place which won't happen, says Vassal, until the cemetery finds her dad and her parents can be together like they always wanted. I wake up and I wonder, is this, this can't be, this can't be true. They don't lose bodies. This, this is not right, but they did. Emily Longnecker, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. Well, tonight the mayor of Bloomington